you think you need permission from the system, you are correct. Topic inspired by Bill Duke, aka Mac, aka you know you done fucked up now, right? I think that's in Bill Duke, and he was the Mac, uh, the black dude that uh, with Jesse Ventura in the movie Predator. Oh, I'm having some fun. The shaved head. But um, he, he mentioned those words when he was speaking about. Um, people trying to make it in Hollywood. I'm not sure if it's going, speaking about directors or actors, actresses, but but that uh, film schools not only say that it's not easy, they overlook or don't mention how hard it is. And, and you know, you know what I think most schools. I don't even know if that's even a proper term. It's more like, because um, even a trade school is more effective than I think most public schools. If more um, pro, more programming environments that are uh, properly known, popularly known as uh, schools, more commonly known as public schools. Um. I think let their students um, <laughs> believe that uh, um, um, that, that I'm special. I'm, uh, Daddy calls me little princess. Um, Mama says I'm number one. Um, look, I got this. Uh, drawing trophy from the fifth grade that means everything's gonna be all right and uh no man you, you know right now i'm watching the uh what's the word deposition disposition deposition Max lamonis um some cunt who had uh, sued uh marcus lamonis for unfair unethical trade practices And just the way that uh, Marcus has carried himself, I really uh, am not siding with uh, this bitch. And I, I'm, I'm thinking about this one, uh, this one taco stand I can think of that. And I like how Marcus doesn't answer or give more than, than what the attorneys already know. Or may know or think they know. But, uh, I'm thinking about this one uh, taco stand who has a ton of motherfucking clients. Ton, 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 ton. And I wonder if um, it's a popular taco chain here. Or ta Taco Bell. It's not really taco, it's Americanized. Mexican version of food, something like that. Uh, tacos, uh, King Taco, I think. Yeah, King Taco. That's, that's a taco chain. Another one. But uh, anyway, these dudes um, attempted to sue uh, this taco guy because this guy's hurting my business and he's unethical and this and that and. He made so many sales. And and then there are people that uh, I was reading in the comment section that this shows the beauty and the ugliness of our American legal system. And 
what someone else wrote. Um, even when you reach the top or you want to stay on top, there's always someone who wants uh, to take you down or wants to get paid. And uh, such is life, man. Such is life. I was watching it because you know uh, just seeing the, the news where when Donald Trump Donald Trump is a rapist because he's a grabber by the pussy Something like that could come and bite you in the ass later. A statement. It's another interesting thing here. Pharmaceutical business. I think it was Johnson and Johnson. The baby powder was recalled uh, because it was recalled and they were sued and. I think it was causing cancer in, in babies or something that are killing them. And I wonder what tests. I don't know. I don't know anything about the case, but and I think it was the talcum powder. But uh, what's the formula? I don't know. A baby product and the. Uh, Lost the lawsuit, but um, but correctly done, uh, justified. I don't, I don't have any kids, but I could just only attempt to imagine uh, losing your one, especially if um, you know, you find your partner in life decide to uh, start to create a family and then losing uh, it's, it's a most precious jewel And it's not too clear as to what, uh, there's a news article, not a news article, a news story that uh, shows the side of the, the word, the plaintiff, or the party suing Marcus and uh, the other company for unethical practices, but Marcus uh, and the other guy are choosing not to speak on camera, and it's smart because, uh, You know, me and myself, because I wrote in some of these comment sections, um, she's a total cunt. Now check out my art channel in America. Because <clears throat> I think... Uh, I'm trying to think what thing, thing I saw maybe that was uh, considered sexual harassment. 
I think uh, a hug during the, in at at a workplace. Considered sexual harassment, being non-white and not getting hired is considered racism. Um, making a joke about World War II is supporting Nazism, being a Nazi. See, I'm, I'm not surprised by uh, <laughs> by uh, um, I, I don't know people getting in trouble for anything or that anyone getting hurt, their feelings hurt, butt hurt or hurting themselves or losing something like the real life participation trophy that people want. I think even watching that, I'm thinking, man, I better be careful what I say, because, you know, what if I get sued for a hate crime? Fuck it. I told you he was Hitler. When you're thinking about permission, getting permission from the system, Marcus Lemonis. When I was watching uh, the show, uh, The Prophet, and seeing how different people get into business, there's no one way, there's no one specific route. Good business partners, bad business partners, angel investors, investors with an agenda, uh, competition, butter competition, um, competition with lawyers that will sue. Just a distraction, like them. I'm trying to think what Marcus had said that I thought it was interesting. Something like uh, he asked, the lawyer asked him, uh, "Do you know or can you think of what uh, return you would have had on advertising at this uh, RV event?" Since he doesn't know, he do doesn't care. I thought that was awesome. I'm actually losing my train of thought because for me, I, even though I know the, don't know the specifics of the case, I feel that my my bullshit detector is effective. Calibrated correctly. I was in tune pretty good.
and you know what? It's even um. Don't don't think on happy thoughts because you're gonna attract attract them. I hate people say that shit, but uh, you know, there's no there's no one road to the top. There's no one way of falling down. And then even I'm thinking, and then because of that, I think, you know, that Bill Duke is correct, that I've also waited around to think, I mean, I need permission from President Barack Obama, because, you know, Donald Trump is, um, Hitler. You know, I need, I need a Latino leader. Thinking real quick as to how, even if he had a brownie in there, a brown president, how much? Uh, I don't think we'll stop with the excuses. If anything, I would think like these people who believe in excuses will keep on believing in them. But how many people who don't believe in them will now use that example as what? There's a brown president, a brown tranny, um, cockeyed, left handed, vegan, gluten free, organic, bisexual, from Compton, raised by illegal immigrants of Siberia. Um, they made it, you can make it too. No, I am distracted by Marcus Lemon's deposition. Getting to the top, staying at the top. I'm just guessing this chick thinks that uh, the competitor is supposed to the competition is supposed to open up next door to you at a shop uh, down the street, across the street. And um, not any sort of way. And the only competition you're supposed to do is 50% off or 60% off or 65% off. If that's the way that the system works, but no man, it's not like that, man. Uh, no, I'm, I'm amused when I see business done in the hood. And fucked up there, because I remember more than once. And especially, it's, it's especially bitches are fucking cut fucking simps I say yeah you know it's it's the um no, not the patriarchy it's uh, not, not eugenics let's use the other word um when people just come in and do shit white people come in when white people come in remodel the building lease the building buy the building Open up a business with their own money. Permaculture, permaculture, what the fuck's it called? Indoctrination. If I see all, people, all these people complaining, using up valuable resources, the most valuable, not just using up, but wasting, which is time. And not making shit happen, man.
messed up on that word. my train of thought but, but anyways if I would have waited for permission to do this or that or wait for my fairy godmother for Obama or gain a degree or diploma gain the money for clown college if I would have waited all those times for permission yeah, very likely right by now I probably would have been full-time manager at a McDonald's somewhere. If I wasn't replaced by a robot yet. Still thinking about finding that word. I've seen someone turn a not, not even a mediocre business, more like a struggling business, um, turn it into a shit, something much more profitable. seen some businesses going the way of a dinosaur thinking that uh, well you know this world we're just dinosaurs here you know we're good we got veggies and uh, little dinosaur little dinosaurs to eat so we're good the party will never end
Yeah, I bring this up because again, uh, I, I hate seeing all these excuses, man. And yes, <laughs> here in Los Angeles, it's we're we're fantastic at making excuses. Uh, I want to say, you know, currently Donald Trump is doing this and that; they're affecting businesses and and uh, deportation and all that. Deportation, bad business, um, what else, so. Um, the Blumenos. Bad business, deportations, hurt feelings. I just stepped on this Lego. They broke up with my girlfriend. It caused my breakup. My impotence. My, someone actually, I believe it's cited Donald Trump as a stress level factor. <sighs> but just being around so many excuse makers, excuse enablers. Yeah, I just have to mention this because I, I don't buy it, man. Don't buy it. Don't want to buy it. Don't need to buy it. It's just more, more effective um, to a more peaceful lifestyle of holding yourself accountable, holding oneself accountable, looking in the mirror and saying, damn, how much do I want to do today? What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? And recently, just seeing some beautiful things of be rem remembering what sort of beautiful things are out there. Rewards and pleasures, amazing times. Oh, to get after it, man. Go forward. No excuses. You don't need permission to succeed or grow.